Well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating the lantern. Now then, let me tell you a long and ancient story. Ever heard of the Hexen Circle? As the spooky name suggests, it's a secret society. Once upon a time, it even challenged the animal Archon himself. But he replied, let us make music, not war, and resolve our conflicts through song. From then on, the mages would only ever convene in the woods, in the skies, or on the edges of cliffs. At these tea parties, they discussed their stories and secrets and resolved their differences, as the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge never to fight amongst themselves. Yesterday, I snuffed out the life of my beloved. He had grown old and was extremely sick. He loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. I'm raising a son. Of all the children I had, he's the only one left. <laughs> but I suppose that still makes me a mother. My lifespan is nothing compared to yours, so I wish to leave you with my storybook. Actually, maybe you can pass it on to your children one day. Oh, this looks interesting. Let me scry. My dear sisters, we mustn't let prophecies threaten our bonds of friendship. Even the most frightening witch was once a little girl. And growing up can be so tough. Sometimes we all need to vent our troubles to the wind. Even if the nations go to war, or the sky falls down, the mages' tea parties shall forever be held around this table. A flower that is not of this world. A guide who will never get lost. One who would never lie. And a legend that never ends. These four descriptions signify four individual mages. When a member of the organization had to leave the group to spend the rest of her days with her beloved, the other mages would write down this prophecy and send it to her to invite her for a final get-together. A flower that is not of this world signifies, of course, flowers that do not naturally exist in this world. This is the signature of R, full name Rhindaughter, also known as Gold. If there's anyone in this world who could create a flower species that does not yet exist, it would be her. The guide who will never get lost is N, otherwise known as Nicole. You may not have encountered her yet, but she is a truly extraordinary woman who has made this world's direction and order her subject of study. Some of you may be fortunate enough to have already heard her voice. Like a prophetess, she will only speak to guide people toward the truth when a change has occurred in the world. She has a tendency to suddenly speak in someone's mind without any warning. <laughs> if one day you would be unfortunate enough to run into a truly dangerous situation, she may use her voice to guide the way forward for you. <sighs> Who would have guessed that there are so many mysterious women in this world, and that they would all know each other? The one who would never lie is... me. I hope no one would take offense. It's just that I, Alice, or A for short, have always had a soft spot for those with sincerity and candor. As for a legend that never ends, you may not know M in person, but you've likely encountered one of her works. Have any of you ever read The Boar Princess? Huh? I'm pretty sure every child in Mondstadt has read that book. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite stories. M was an exceptional human writer who used her prose to teach me the meaning of grief. Don't you think such a person would deserve a seat at the mage's table? 